Tropical Storm Raphael is almost a hurricane. Good Tuesday afternoon. Mike Naso here with the latest on the tropics. Taking a look out there, there is Raphael right in the middle of your screen, looking very impressive as a high-end tropical storm nearing the Cayman Islands and headed for western Cuba. Here's the latest from the National Hurricane Center as of 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Raphael was at 19.1 north, 79.6 west. Winds of 70 miles per hour, so it's perched just below hurricane strength. 989 millibars is right on the edge of becoming a hurricane. Moving northwest at 15, and it is forecast to move nearer over the Cayman Islands and then western Cuba by Wednesday afternoon, and then just offshore areas there of the Dry Tortugas and the Florida Keys and then probably move into the Gulf of Mexico and weaken slightly, at least into a high-end tropical storm, if not more. But there's a lot of uncertainty after Friday on the track and intensity. I'll talk about that. We do have hurricane warnings in effect for the Cayman Islands and western Cuba, tropical storm warnings for areas of central Cuba and the Florida Keys here, including the dry Tortugas. Here's the latest uh, true color visible image. Ooh, got messed up there at the end, but look at the way it's building it looks like an eye is trying to pop out there towards the end. Let me see if I could switch it to a different satellite that doesn't mess up. Ah, no, that one messed up too. How about some infrared? Okay, there we go. Uh, you can obviously see it has that hurricane shape to it. It's consolidated right over the center, headed towards the islands of the Cayman Islands. So it does appear like Raphael will soon become a hurricane. Category 1, it could strengthen a little bit quicker than we would like over these very hot waters on its way to western Cuba. So be prepared for a Category 2, potentially even a major hurricane, a Category 3, if it strengthens rapidly overnight tonight and during the day tomorrow. The reason it's strengthening so much is not only the warm water, but look at this very favorable upper-level pattern right over the top of it, ventilating it in the upper levels clockwise over the counterclockwise circulation, and that's very, very favorable. Now, as it moves into the Gulf of Mexico, the waters are going to get cooler and the wind shear is going to increase, but we don't know by how much. We also don't know what the trough setup is going to be to weaken the ridging. Now, this is the GFS, and it keeps the system relatively weak and gradually moves it more towards the north, towards the landfall in southeastern Louisiana, western Mississippi, maybe Alabama as a tropical storm. On the other hand, the European model keeps a little more ridging, keeps it stronger, and makes it a strong hurricane, maybe even a major hurricane, way down here in the Bay of Campeche. And uh, some of them have it striking Louisiana as a weakening hurricane, but still a hurricane. So there's a lot of uncertainty about where exactly Raphael will go. But if it does cause impacts, the earliest reasonable arrival time of tropical storm winds wouldn't be until probably Thursday or Friday. So we have a lot of time to watch it still. And I think we'll have even more time than that because I have a feeling once it spits out into the Gulf of Mexico, it might mill around out there a couple of days while it figures out what to do. So we'll continue to watch this system again. It looks like the Cayman Islands are going to get slammed with uh, heavy weather, but it does have a very favorable pattern, very warm water, and it is a late season tropical storm, soon to, soon to be a late season hurricane. So we're going to watch it very, very carefully. I'm Mike Nasal with the latest on Raphael. Stay tuned for further updates as the system strengthens and heads towards the Cayman Islands and western Cuba.